Using the proper installation procedures of your new Comfort Series windows is very important in helping your windows perform at their best in energy performance and operation. After receiving your new Comfort Series windows, make sure that they are stored in a safe location that will protect the windows from damage prior to installation. Comfort Series windows can be ordered in rough opening or window dimension sizes in 1 8 inch increments. When ordered as a rough opening size, Gherkin will downsize the windows one half of an inch smaller than the rough opening size given. This reduction in size should maintain a quarter inch spacing on all four sides of the interior and exterior of the window so that proper expansion tolerances are maintained for shimming, insulating and exterior building materials. These tolerances must also be maintained when ordering as a window dimension. Double check the size of your rough openings on the inside and the outside of the opening. Measure the edges and the midpoints of your rough opening. The required rough opening size must be maintained at every point within the rough opening. Check the sill for level. Use a properly sized level when checking sill for level. Also check for plumb on the jams. Use shims at the sill that will support the window a quarter inch up off the sill. Horizontal sliders will require shims to be placed two inches from each jam and under the mullions. Single hungs and double hungs will require shims to be placed directly under the balances. Additional shims are required under the mull of each multiple window. Do not use shims in the center of the single hung or double hung window. Note that the shipping and installation strap that is factory installed on the double hung must stay attached until the installation is complete. Casement windows will require shims to be placed two inches from each jam. Additional shims are required under the mull of each multiple window. The shims used at the sill for leveling the window cannot be tapered. The window must be able to be set flat on the shims. Once shims have been placed on the sill, check for level again. Using a high grade of silicone, caulk the outside perimeter of the rough opening with a liberal amount of caulk. The center line of caulk should be about one half inch from the edge of the rough opening. Use a minimum of two people when installing windows. One person should be inside to make sure the window is being set with equal distances from each jam. And one or more people should be used to lift the window into the rough opening. When lifting the window into the opening, use caution by making sure the window is fully supported at the sill so that damage from the stress of lifting the window will not occur. Always lift the window in an upright position. Lifting the window in a flat position can cause damage and glass breakage. The window should be lifted into position and set onto the shims with equal spacing from each jam. Once the window is in the rough opening, check the window to make sure it's level. Then check the gap on both sides from the inside of the window. To check for square, you should measure diagonally from corner to corner on the window frame, as well as the sash opening. To check for bowing, you should measure the sill, head, and at the midpoint widths. After this has been done, then place a temporary 2-inch roofing nail at the head. Then secure the sill with 2-inch roofing nails through the center of the star hole. Place a nail in every other star hole, typical 12-inch on center. Use caution not to nail into the nail fin when applying exterior trim or siding. Recheck for plumb, level, and square prior to nailing the jams. Once the window has been properly positioned, place a 2-inch roofing nail near each jam. Recheck the jams for bowing, as well as square and plumb. Continue to anchor the jam by placing a nail in the center of every other star hole. In order to allow for expansion and contraction, do not nail within 6 inches of the corners. The nails must be centered in the star hole with a snug fit. Do not distort or indent the nail fin when pounding the nails in. Do not pull down on the window head while nailing the head, as this could sag the head prior to nailing. Make sure that the head is not bowed. After nailing the window in place, 
Make sure that all star holes are fully caulked. Recaulk as necessary. All windows should have a nominal one quarter inch gap between the rough opening in the window and be filled with either fiberglass insulation or non-expandable window foam. The insulation must be lightly tucked in place. Window distortion can take place if insulation is overstuffed or the wrong foam is used. Gherkin recommends AAMA application standards be used when applying window wrap tape. By closely following these window installation procedures, your windows will perform at their best in operation and energy performance. Thank you for choosing Gherkin Comfort Series Vinyl Windows.